Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on optimization problem and stationary point. Here is the exam question. Figure 4 shows a solid wood block. The block is a right prism with length 8 cm. The cross section of the block is a semicircle with radius r cm. The total surface area of the block, including the curved surface, the two semicircular ends, and the rectangular base, is 200 cm squared. Part A show that the volume of the block is given by v equal pi r multiplied by 200 minus pi r squared in brackets all over 4 plus 2 pi. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Ladies and gents, in almost all optimization problems, part A of the question will be a show that question. My top tip for the show that question is to generate two formulas. The second formula that you're going to be generating most likely will be the formula where you have to make one of the variables the subject. Once you've made that variable the subject, you can then substitute that variable into the previous formula in order to arrive at the formula that you're trying to derive. So in this case, we are trying to derive this formula here. This formula is for the volume of the solid wood block. Let's proceed forward. So in part A, I'm going to start off by generating a formula for the volume of the solid wood block. So the volume V is given by area of cross-section multiplied by length. So the cross-section is a semicircle. That area would be pi r squared divided by 2 multiplied by the length. In this scenario, it is h. So that is my first formula. Now my second formula is a link to the surface area. Suppose S denotes the surface area of the solid wood block. So S is the surface area. Now we know that the surface area S is equal to 200 cm squared. Let's work out a formula for S. So S consists of two semicircles. So we've got pi r squared divided by 2 plus pi r squared divided by 2 plus the rectangular base. Okay, so the width is h multiplied by the length will be double the radius, so 2r, plus the curved area. Now, for a full cylinder, the curved area is 2 pi r h. We're looking at half a cylinder. So half of this curved area, 2 pi r h, is just pi r h. So we've got pi r h. Okay, so this must equal 200. Let's simplify this. Pi r squared over 2 plus pi r squared over 2 is just pi r squared plus 2hr plus pi r h equal 200. Now notice that in the uh, v formula over here there is no h. So what we need to do is make h the subject in this formula and then substitute that h into this formula here in order to derive this formula for the volume in terms of r, the radius. Okay, so what can we do next? Well, ladies and gents, we can start by taking pi r squared to the right-hand side. So we've got 2hr plus pi r h equal 200 minus pi r squared. Now over here, we've got common factor of h. We can take out the common factor. So we've got h outside and in the bracket, we've got 2r plus pi r equal 200 minus pi r squared. So now we can make h the subject. So we've got h equal 200 minus pi r squared divided by 2r plus pi r. Okay, so now we can call this formula 1 and this formula 2. We're going to substitute formula 2 into formula 1. So substitute 2 into 1. So this gives us v equal pi r squared over 2 multiplied by this h which is 200 minus pi r squared over 2r plus pi r. Okay, so we can multiply top and bottom. So the top becomes pi r squared multiplied by 200 minus pi r squared. All over the bottom becomes 4r plus 2 pi r. Now, if we make a comparison between this and this, we notice that in the denominator, there is no r. So perhaps we need to take out a common factor of r in the denominator to cancel with the r in the numerator. So we've got v equal pi r squared multiplied by 200 minus pi r squared all over, take out a common factor of r, and inside the bracket, you've got 4 plus 2 pi, 
Okay, so notice that there is a cancellation. This R cancels with one of the R's here. So therefore, we arrive at V equal pi R multiplied by 200 minus pi R squared all over 4 plus 2 pi as required. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of this exam question. Let's have a look at part B of the exam question. Use calculus to find the maximum value of V. Give your answer to the nearest centimetre cubed. Please pause the video. Have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now, we know that V max or V min occurs when dv of a dr is equal to zero. In other words, a function is maximized or minimized when the gradient is equal to zero. That's our key fact. Now let's start off with the formula v. I'm going to rewrite the formula v as pi r over 4 plus 2 pi multiplied by 200 minus pi r squared. Right, so what we want to do now is work out dv over dr. We want to differentiate v with respect to r. Now, over here, students might notice that we have a product of two functions. So let's use a product rule to differentiate this. You can do that, but then that process is not the most efficient process. The best way to differentiate this is to expand the bracket. Once you've expanded, then you can use the one differentiation. Bring down the power, subtract one from the power. So let's proceed forward with the easiest method. We've got V equal, let's expand the brackets, so that would be 200 pi over 4 plus 2 pi R minus pi squared over 4 plus 2 pi R cubed. Okay, so we can apply year one differentiation. Bring down the power, subtract one from the power. DV over DR will equal, the first term differentiates to 200 pi over 4 plus 2 pi. Remember, pi is a constant. It is not a variable. Minus, the second term differentiates to 300 pi squared over 4 plus 2 pi r squared. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, we can write this as a single term because we've got common denominator. So, it is rewritten as 200 pi minus 3 pi squared r squared all over 4 plus 2 pi. Now, to work out v max, we have to set our dv over dr, which is this one here, equal to 0. So we've got 200 pi minus 3 pi squared r squared all over 4 plus 2 pi equal 0. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 4 plus 2 pi. This will reduce the equation to 200 pi minus 3 pi squared r squared equal 0. Okay, now we can make r the subject. I've got 200 pi has to equal 3 pi squared r squared. We can divide by 3 pi squared on both sides. This will give us 200 pi over 3 pi squared equal r squared. So this pi will cancel with one of the pi's in the denominator. So the left-hand side gets reduced to 200 over 3 pi equal the right-hand side, which is r squared. Now, radius is a length. So when we take the square root, we must take the positive square root, not the negative square root. So we've got r is equal to the positive square root of 200 over 3 pi. So v, v is maximized when r is equal to square root 200 over 3 pi. So what we now need to do to work out V max, the maximum volume, is to substitute this R value into this formula over here. So we've got pi multiplied by square root 200 over 3 pi. Okay, square bracket, 200 minus pi multiplied by square root 200 over 3 pi. In bracket squared, close square bracket, all over... 4 plus 2 pi. So I can put this into my calculator to work out the maximum volume. So the maximum volume will equal 188 centimeter cubed to the nearest centimeter cubed. 
And that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of this exam question. Moving on to part C of the exam question. Justify by further differentiation that the value of V that you have found is a maximum. Please pause the video, have a go at part C. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Now, to determine the nature of a stationary point, in other words, to determine if it's a maximum or if it's a minimum, we have to use the second derivative test. Now, we've got the first derivative, dv over dr, which is this over here. We can differentiate the first derivative in order to arrive at the second derivative. So, d2v over dr squared will equal, if you differentiate the first term, which is a constant, that becomes zero. You can differentiate the second term, bring down the power, subtract one from the power. So this gives me minus six pi squared over four plus two pi r. So that is my second derivative. Now I'm going to substitute r equals square root 200 over three pi into my second derivative. Okay, so if I do this, I get the following result. D2v over dr squared evaluated when r is equal square root 200 over 3 pi will equal minus 6 pi squared over 4 plus 2 pi. We can substitute the r value so that is square root of 200 over 3 pi. So we get something like minus 27 which is less than 0. Because the second derivative is less than 0 we can now conclude that v is indeed a maximum when r is equal square root 200 over 3 pi. So that there ladies and gents completes part c and this exam question and this teaching video pure mathematics exam question on optimization problem and stationary point. If you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.